Hi, Trent here. In this uh, tutorial, I'll be teaching you about how to go about creating a blueprint for your website so you can make it make your life a lot easier as you, as you start to map out the pages and the structure of your website and so things are organized. And ultimately, the primary goal and end in mind goal is to make the navigation of your site as easy as possible for the user, in which your customers come to your website. So let's get started. There's some uh, free tools and also um, paid tools that you can use, but I'm going to start off with the uh, free tools and then recommend some of the paid tools that you can use at the very end. So once again, just to recap, the ultimate goal with this is to um, organize your thoughts and organize your uh, ideas and also structure the, uh, you know, the names of the pages and the content that you're going to place on your website. So, for example, this is one of the sites that I run with uh, uh, my, my wife, and we do family photography. And you'll notice here up at the top that the uh, pages in the navigation bar are uh, structured uh, for a reason uh, as such. So the home, the portfolio, blog, pricing classes, you know, FAQS, photo tips, and contact. You know, those pages are there for a reason. They were just randomly put there. They're there for the user to navigate through the site, and they're the most important pages that we found that uh, you know customers care about the most. And so, when you uh, start to plan out your website, you know it's important to think about what your customers are looking for and what they value most, and what you believe you know they would. Uh, um, need to get in contact with or get access to the, um, the quickest. Okay, and so if someone is uh, looking for um, the portfolio for our business, well, they can easily find it. They don't have to hunt for it. If they're interested in um, hiring us, well, they can immediately go to the pricing or you know, participate with some of the classes and so forth. So you get the point, right? And as you start to scroll down, there's a clear call to action. It tells them clearly what we do and um, and how they can get started. All right. So that's uh, the same thing that you'd want to do with your site is to clearly present what you're all about and uh, help them take action as fast as possible. You, know, you don't want them just sitting around on your homepage um, you know, for a long time period. You want to have them understand what your site is all about as fast as possible and help them take action. So ultimately, mapping out. A blueprint of your site will help them take action quicker. So one of the free tools I like to use is um, you know, MindMeister. It's uh, pretty easy to use. You can go just go to uh, MindMeister, M-E-I-S-T-E-R dot com, and there's going to be a free demo that you could use. Okay, just to test it out. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but uh, let me go over to the second option here, and this is completely free. This software is called FreeMind, so free, M-I-N-D, FreeMind. And when you type that into Google, the uh, top search result, you just click on FreeMind main page, uh, sourceforce.net, and that's where you can go to download it. And once you download it, if you have a Mac or a PC, it'll, it'll work on either one. But once you go here to download it, you, uh, you know, scroll down a little bit, click on Download, and then it'll give you a few different options of the different file formats that you can uh, choose from. So this is for the Windows formats right here and for Mac. And they have a few other ones down here, but I am currently running um, in the software on my Mac, so I downloaded this version. And once you download it, then it's going to put an icon on your desktop that looks like this right here. Okay, this looks like a little butterfly. It just says FreeMind. And once you uh, double-click on that icon, then it'll pop up a box that looks like this, all right? Okay, and it just has this uh, little bubble right here where you can get started off with mapping out your uh, thoughts and your um, ideas about how you want to structure your site. Now, one of the ways of structuring out your site that's really good is to use keyword phrases. So we're going to start off with uh, just will map out an idea using this very uh, tool. So stretching your website, okay? So once you do that, then you can right click on there, on the little bubble, and click on New Child Node. I know that's kind of weird, but um, that's what it's called, New Child Node. And once you do that, then it'll provide a little line there, and you 
type in the next idea. So this is going to be your home page. Let's do your home page. We're just mapping out. You press enter on your keyboard and then you press enter again. Oops. And usually it creates the other it is. Okay, you just press enter and it'll create another node right below it. Okay, so if you were if we were mapping out um, a photography site just based upon the example I showed you earlier, then we would have in our portfolio page, and we would have our you know blog. We probably want to have our classes like we had on there, since we do offer classes, and our FAQs, Oops. and our contact page. Okay, so this would be our structure of our website. Just helps you organize it, organize things a bit more, and you could click on any of them and drag them up into different spots. If you want that up above and this you know, a little bit lower then you can do that and you know, it's pretty fun to work with as you start to get the hang of it but you can drag and drop if you want the facts page to be below the classes page then you could uh, structure it however which way you'd like okay so you can see that it's pretty easy to use and the whole point of this is to get your ideas out on the uh, mind map and just uh, get to the point where you can organize them and things are clear and once you have a blueprint just like creating a blueprint for a home if you're building a home um, a brand new home you'd want to know how to organize the structure of your home what where the, you know, the rooms would go the kitchen the bathroom and all that stuff the same thing here okay so you have your structure that you've organized and when you're done with it then you could uh, come up here and save it and then you can use that, that as your plan, for your master plan. And you can always come back to it. I use this program quite a bit. And you don't have to use this program. It's really up to you on how technically involved you want to be with mapping out your mind map of your site. You can simply just take a piece of paper and pen and just write it out on a piece of paper um, if you're so inclined. So um, it's, it's up to you. But um, once again, the main goal with all of this is just to make your navigation of your site as easy as possible. So at this point, I just brainstormed and put down the uh, pages of the site that I've already um, created. But if you were to do your keyword research, okay, I'm going to create another node over here. And if this was an e-com site, e-commerce site, you know, selling, you know, photography supplies, okay, if that was the case then what I would probably want to do is structure things based upon the keyword phrases that people are looking for um, based upon category and products. Okay, so you have your categories and you have your products. Okay, so the categories, I'm going to right click on that, click on another node. So some of the product categories for photography supplies could be cameras, right? Then you have your lighting supplies for categories. And then you have um, you know what? You have your uh, you know, film you know, development and supplies and so forth. All right. So you create your categories and then your products. You start to list out some of your products, or actually, you can start to you know, put those ca uh, products underneath these categories. Okay, so I'll just delete that. But um, so to edit a node or delete it, you just right-click on it and you can uh, remove the node. Okay, and if you click anywhere right here, you can move it around. And if you click on the actual name of it, it'll collapse it like that. Okay. So just kind of need to, to use, and you could ultimately have a huge network or this huge, um, you know, web of ideas that you can organize. Okay, so this is using the FreeMind software, and it's you know, obviously free. You can download it and use it at any time on um, any computer for the most part, as long as it's not super old. So um, get started, you know, with uh, mapping out your ideas. And it'll make your life a lot easier and your customer's life you know, a lot easier when they come to your site to start navigating through your uh, content. And that's the end of this tutorial.